we're going to do a Vectric Aspire 3D modeling process. It's just a simple one that I think everybody can do. So we'll call it your first 3D model. So we'll get rid of me off the screen and we'll bring up what we're going to actually do today, which is this. And it's, it's a very simple but very effective 3D model. As you can see, it really is a 3D rose uh, on a stick with leaves stick. I meant stem, of course. And I'm going to show you how to do this on one single layer, very simply. So we're going to drop this one down. Oh, there's a nice colourful picture. And fetch this one up and make it a bit smaller. This is the easiest method of bringing, uh, you know, an item into Vetric Aspire that I I use anyway. So we're just going to use this rose. I'm just going to right click on it, drag it, and drop it in. And we'll make this large screen. And let's reposition this a bit. So we're going to bring it down slightly so it's uh, on our material about the middle and I'm going to make it very slightly smaller like that come down a bit further perfect okay so these are drawing our model okay so the next process we're going to do with our, our drawing selected I'm going to come here and we're going to create some vectors uh, black and white it's a black and white picture and I'm going to go with the normal or standard settings they work just fine so let's preview that and you can see that they're very very nice and crisp which is what we we need and we're going to apply that okay so we can close that so the first thing we need to do is to select on any line because these are all um, should we say joined together as a group we need to ungroup them because we're going to work on each individual one so I can come on here now and you see the leaves and the stem are in one group and these are in individual groups okay so now we can come to come here to the modeling tool 3d modeling tool and we're going to select a stem so that will be the stem and the leaves um, I think that will do. That's probably a bit high, so I'm going to come back all the way down to. I'm going to go three millimeter for this. Three, if I can. Three millimeter. And it's a raised 3D model. I'm going to apply that. Let's have a look. Um, okay, we might be able to come up a little further with that. So I'm going to come here and catch up to our slider bar. I'm going to try five. Apply. That's looking a little better. You know, we don't want to come up too far. It'll make it sort of oversized, should we say. I think that'll do. So we're going to go back to our drawing layer. Now you'll see that this is on component one. So this is component one. So now we're going to go to start new component. 
and you notice this this gets locked in this is still 3d it's still there and now we're on to component part two now for this we're going to do so what i'm going to do is press the shift key down and just press the inner part of the leaves there and release and that's probably a little bit too much of an angle so i'm going to come down to a bit roughly 75 that'll do um base 8 height 0.5 that's that's okay actually but i'm going to come down to two and a half roughly there and i'm going to invert it in other words i want it to go into the leaf not raised to give it a you know a little bit of difference um a little bit of clarity then i'm going to apply that and we'll have a look so you see it gives that little bit of contrast within the leaf so okay so that's our second uh, component then of this this uh, 3d model so i'm going to now start a third component and we're going to press the shift key down and i'm going to select these three uh should we say older petals that have fallen off and it's a positive i'll leave that at around about 75.5 that just gives me a little a little start off a little lip up so it's not starting from the canvas as it were um i think we'll put these up a little bit further possibly three point yeah, three point eight is probably okay. Let's have a look at it. Uh, we'll apply it and then have a look. Um, yeah, that probably would be okay. Oh, a little bit too much, maybe. So we'll take it down a little bit. there 2.6 that looks a little bit more realistic i think i'm going to put the other petals at different levels um well we'll do them in groups actually so that that's okay for that so we're going to say start another component number four now these uh, again, I'm going to press the shift. So that one, that one, and that one, and I think this one. I'm going to put all the same level. Um, it's a positive. I'm just going to bring this down a touch. So it's going to be different from the rest. This I'm going to put up to three. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And we'll apply that and have a look. Yep, you can actually see here now that the this figure here of 0.5 millimeters uh, base height if i zoom in you can see that there, there it is there it's off this sort of a straight edge off the canvas then or the baseline yep i'm okay with that and so now we're on to to their component five so we're going to do the 
back edge so press shift and select this one this one this one and I think this one as well so that'll select that as well yes yes I'll do that and this time uh, I'm going to take this down to two actually because it's behind it's at the back and I, I don't think you really need it I think you need it lower than what you got in the foreground so we're going to say possibly 2.5 um, 2.5 again a positive and apply and have a look see how that looks yep so you can see it is it is not quite as high as the ones in the foreground okay that leaves the center bud so we're going to say component six so I'm going to put all these the same I don't see any reason to have them different So we can see what we're doing. Okay. So that's another group. Um, this time we're going to bump that up quite a bit. Um, uh, 5.5 maybe. I don't know whether 5 would be too, 5.5 would be too much. We'll have a look. We can always alter it again. Positive and apply. Let's have a look. Oh, I think that's okay. Let's go and have a closer look. I think that'll be just fine. So you don't really get the overall look of it until you until you machine it. Okay. Okay, so I'm saying okay a lot, but <laughs> believe you me, I think that is okay. It's a, you know, for a very, very quick demonstration of a three-dimensional uh, object, it's not bad. It really, you know, it gives you an idea of, well, how to use some of the tools. So I think we'll go to the tool paths now. Um, yep, I'm okay, I'm okay with that, you know. So let's um, show the toolpath tab and open up a 3D toolpath. Um, yeah, 20, I'm going to accept all these. 5 mil, 0 above the material. Yep, this is OK. Uh, I'm doing the whole thing. Um, I accept a 1.5 ball mill, although in actual real life I probably would, uh, because this is 200 by 200 millimeters, uh, uh, you know, 8 inch by 8 inch, I would probably go over this with uh, a 5 mil ball mill, then go into it with a, a 1.5. But uh, for quickness, we're going to accept the defaults here and uh, just say calculate. Okay, and preview that. It's not bad. Um, 
not really fussed on the material there. Let's um, let's change the material. That sort of looks more acceptable, I think. So there you are, and then you just uh, you know post the the G code in whatever G code language you your you know your machine accepts. If you want a general G code, uh, if you're working in millimeters, it'll be G code millimeter tap. Uh, I find all machines accept that. All like I say, all machines accept uh, tap files. So, okay, so that's a very quick tutorial of using some of the 3D modeling tools from a very simple picture. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you come and have a look at one of my other tutorial videos on CNC milling, routing, even making your own CNC machines, or even converting uh, manual machines to CNC machines, and all the associated programs with it. So thank you for joining me, and it's bye for now.